Bible Poems to Samuel Promises and Consequences David, mourning for Jonathan and Saul, begins to rule in Hebron, but Saul's clan pursue their claim through Ishbosheth. Costly civil war, the generals Joab and Abner, killer of Joab's brother. Time passes, David's family swells. Miffed Abner changes sides and Joab, more than miffed, kills him. David, doing the right thing, mourns again and revenges Ishbosheth's murder. Now Israel's elders anoint him. David's proper reign begins in Hebron. He is 30. 40 years of rule will follow. By a ruse, Fortress Jerusalem is taken. Let's bring the ark, says David, but the ancient rules of reverence are broken. Uzzah dies. A sobering encounter with holiness. All different next time, the ark arrives with joyful worship. I will celebrate before the Lord. To scornful Michael, he makes the case for dancing. Jerusalem will have the throne. And then a crucial dialogue. David opens to God. I'll build you a house. No, I'll build you a house. And here's the promise. Your throne will be forever. Like Abraham's ancient promise, this one will take the whole Bible to unpack. Many victories follow. Kingly acts. Kindness to lame Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan. But a change of mood. David leaves the fighting to his, to his general. Unwinds at the palace fancies the naked girl next door, Bathsheba, Uriah's wife. I'm pregnant. David, man of power, tells Joab to put her soldier husband on the front line of the siege. Easy solution, but not this time a kingly act. The thing displeased the Lord. Prophet Nathan turns parable teller to speak truth to power. Repentance follows. Yes, read the psalm. But consequences continue. A child is lost. Though God's mercy provides a future king. Sin stalks the family. Divisions, cruel acts. The king's heart rules his head and Absalom turns the nation's heart against his father. David flees the city. Only Hushai's daring intervention buys time for his escape. A costly victory. Joab makes Absalom pay the price. Others receive a cautious pardon. The appetite for rebellion now whetted, Absalom's general Amaza fights for Sheba, another Benjamite. Both die. Gibeon demands reparation for ancient injuries. More blood. Mephibosheth is spared. David wasn't meant to count his force. This isn't numbers. More consequences follow. We do not know the ways of God, the lesson to be learnt at any point. 
but God intends a blessing. David chooses the way of sacrifice, costly offerings, God acknowledging. Now good consequences will come. Upon the land of Aruna's threshing floor, the temple will be built. A hint of God's most gracious legacy, legacy through David. Words God makes his own. Verse 